China stealing technological uh, secrets from AI, everything from AI to computing and biology. Uh, this is, uh, they're, everybody's being warned about this, particularly Silicon Valley. They're saying that they're, I mean, China has the espionage that they're committing they're, and this, what they are stealing is at uh, a rate that's unprecedented. Now, Five Eyes is what they call the uh, alliance that that Australia, uh, Canada, obviously the United States, uh, New Zealand, and the UK. Uh, it's an intelligence cooperative. It's uh, they're allies, and we share intelligence. And it's they they talk about it as because it would be like oh it's um, it's named you know these countries eyes only five countries five eyes that's how it got its name but they've they've been warning they've come out their intel chiefs have come out and they've warned everyone this is like one of the first times they've come out like this saying uh this is really bad they're issuing a scale of theft unprecedented in human history now i love by the way if you were to google uh five eyes warning you have the china chinese search their their propaganda pieces their version of pravda it says five eyes is accustomed to spreading lies about china the chinese foreign ministers come out hit out against the warning and then you have their south china what is it the morning post all this other stuff all of the, pro the propaganda pieces oh the five eyes is spreading lies about china again well they're not i mean They've been, they've stolen stuff before. What are you talking about? It's not a lie. They've done this repeatedly. They've done this before. And so, is anything going to come of it though? I mean, I, I kind of, I, I don't think that that is a uh, priority for this administration because I feel like this administration has tried, has prioritized making money off of China with China, as opposed to thwarting China's ability to steal IP and other secrets. But they're saying it's a defining threat. There was 60 Minutes had a panel on it. I don't like Christopher Wray. He was on the panel. I don't know. I mean, he's, I think he's part of the problem. But they said that they cultivate these methods and uh, we, they have employees at companies with sought after information. Those are targeted. Now I was telling you about this earlier. Like it goes beyond the, tra the uh, what they've done traditionally with espionage. Uh, and they said that, I mean, there a lot of times people aren't even aware that it's happening, but it's, you know, they look at uh, people who have security clearance who are working in very interesting areas of technology. They said that there are 20,000 examples that they've documented of a, these disguised approaches just to people in the UK alone, where the Chinese state has tried to get its hands on their tech IP. And they said it involves a lot of cutting edge technology, a lot of industrial advances, uh, and they, you know, a lot of that. And they said that uh, if you are operating at the cutting edge of tech right now in this decade, you might not be focusing on geopolitical issues but geopolitical issues are focusing on you and that espionage doing this for the ccp i mean there i that's just twenty thousand examples in the uk alone i can't even imagine what that would be like here in the u.s i mean you know so far we know diane feinstein had a ccp spy as a driver for 20 years eric swalwell slept with a ccp spy uh, I mean, we know, I, I, I would say, I, so I don't think they necessarily target the brightest among us all the time, but they said that the uh, Chinese government had tried to derail one candidate who had been critical of its country, and they said that they left a voicemail for, invest for an investigator saying, quote, beat him until he cannot run for election. They are very, I mean, you have the little police, the secret CCP police departments that have been in the U.S., this administration has not prioritized any of this. But, you know, what you've seen is you've seen the unprecedented amount of money, unprecedented amount of money that the Bidens have made with Rosemont Seneca and everything else with, with China. I mean, I think that there's enough there to argue uh, without a lot of question that this administration has prioritized enriching itself off of reducing our uh, security against China. 
All of this stuff has been happening, and there hasn't really been much of a response from the U.S. on this. And in term, and by response, I mean things that we're doing here to shore up our own defenses, security-wise, against people exploiting, you know, our our uh, uh, abilities to get IP, to get to to compromise, get secrets, etc. It's a, it's just like a major major issue here. And they're saying that we have to work together, we have to have vigilance, but they're warning, they're saying this, it's unprecedented. And it's beyond regular, traditional espionage tactics. You know what this sounds like? Some Mission Impossible stuff. Doesn't it? It totally does. It totally sounds like some Mission Impossible stuff. <laughs> 